Everyone who has read it has died. I don't want to look at it then. Hmm. Good point. Did I kill him? You're damn right I killed him. Did I do it again? I hope they burn in hell! Get a P.O. box. You know how small those things are? Can't even get my magazines out without ripping them. <laughs> John Hornbook is running towards the truth. John, you're not seeing the big picture. This isn't about one little black mailbox. This is about every single black mailbox in this country. Who are you? It's me. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, good. Good. This conspiracy goes deeper than you can possibly imagine. Deeper than the DA's office? No, think. Who controls the mail? Stamps. No. Deeper than stamp. Easter seals, of course. No. Deeper than Easter seals, it's the government. What? The government. Mm. Oh. John! You care more about having sex with that mysterious young woman than you do about your own family. John Hornbook is running. He's running because audiences loved it when Tom Cruise did it in The Firm. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I don't have a fancy summation today. All I have is the truth. The truth in the form of a story. <gasps> Picture, if you will, a beautiful sunny afternoon and a precious little black mailbox sits proudly on its owner's lawn, minding its own business. When out of nowhere, it's beaten, ripped from its post, and strung up in a tree, never to receive another Christmas card or a free shampoo sample. <laughs> Well, now I want you to close your eyes and imagine. <laughs> imagine that mailbox is white. Have you reached a verdict? Your Honor. We, the jury, find the defendant... Guilty of first-degree entertainment. <laughs> John Grisham's The Mailbox.